answer a uh, commonly asked question that we've been receiving quite a bit, how to repaint a resin statue. So before we get to that though, I just want to make a quick announcement. Uh, this channel is actually getting quite popular and we have lots of requests for different statues to be painted. And one of the requests we've been getting is if we would have the actual statues available uh, to purchase. Now, if you go to my website, I sell the molds that are used to make the statues, but we are going to start adding a section where I'm going to have some of the smaller statues that I'm going to be featuring in these painting videos so that if you like the video, you want to paint your own statue, you can go buy that statue unfinished and paint it yourself. Or if you don't want to paint it, you just want the finished statue, I'll have some of those all painted up as well. It'll be a limited selection, but this is something we've been asked uh, to provide for quite some time and I'm glad that we're uh, very shortly going to be able to do that. Uh, we're not there yet, but uh, within just a few weeks we'll start having regular videos with different animals such as a hedgehog, an owl, a turtle, a bunny, whatever it might be, and then you can find that same statue on our website if you so desire. But enough about that, let's talk about resin statues. Ooh, I hate them, and I will admit I'm biased. My whole family has been uh, in the business of making statuary out of Primarily concrete, we did ceramics back in the day, a lot of clay stuff, but primarily concrete is what we use for statues. But if you've been to any like home decor uh, store in the last 20 years, you've probably seen those resin figurines and statues that uh, are around. And here's one of them here that I picked up recently. This is resin, and if you don't believe me, it still has the tag on the bottom. And believe it or not, they were trying to get 40 bucks for this thing. I don't think that's what I paid for it. I wouldn't even dare pay 40 bucks for a piece of resin. but. Here's why I hate them. Our business was doing great in the 80s, throughout most of the 90s, then the late 90s, early 2000s, resin figurines flooded the market coming from China, mostly from China. And they were super cheap, people went nuts for them because they thought, hey, here's a statue that's lightweight and it's cheap, and they started flocking towards these. It almost killed off the concrete statuary business for a couple years, it was bad. But then because these were so popular, the company started raising the prices on them more and more. So what was 10, $12 was, well, as we see, $40. I've seen them higher than that. And the quality is just not there. Resin statues just don't last in the outdoors the way a concrete statue will. A concrete statue can last for decades. A resin statue, if you get a couple seasons out of it, you're doing good. The main problem with resin statues, however, is that the, oftentimes the paint jobs are awful on them. And that's what we're gonna to discuss today. Now, they're still around, you know, they're still quite popular. They're not near as popular as they used to be. Uh, fortunately, concrete statuary has come back bigger than ever. I think people wisened up to uh, resin statuary not lasting. So now over the last several years, concrete statuary is more popular than it's ever been, thankfully. But I still have people that have an old resin statue where they see one, and I will admit, there's some nice designs out there. I think this is cute. It's a cute little, uh, like a little bird feeder, miniature bird bath painted horribly. I don't know what they were thinking here. I think they were trying to do a standard uh, dry brush technique of uh, white over gray, which if done right can look great, but this just looks awful. So I'm going to show you what to do to paint it because most of the techniques that I've shown you in the videos up until this one will work as far as the dry brush techniques and doing uh, different colors and such. The one thing that you have to do different is the base coat. Now I have a video about base coating for concrete. That will not apply to resin. Here's the deal with the resin statues. I have no clue what they use on these because they come from different manufacturers from overseas. I've had some that I'm pretty sure they cover with some sort of tar material and then some sort of sealer. No joke, uh, it's been weird. So I think this one was just a standard type of paint or coloring by the looks of it, but you never know exactly what's on it. Now, if you do the watered down base coat on these like you do with concrete, it's just gonna be a mess. It's not gonna do uh, what it does for concrete. So there's just a simple thing you need to do. No matter what it is, if you want to repaint a resin statue, just go get you a can of spray primer. That's it. Uh, in this case, I have a gray primer. Normally on something like this, I'd probably use a black primer. I just don't happen to have one on me right now. But uh, just give it a prime coat with this. So at this point, the resin statue has a light coat of primer, and I'm just gonna give that a couple minutes to dry. And then what I'm gonna do, since this is in a gray uh, base coat with this primer, I'm just gonna do a white dry brush finish over it, kind of what I think they were attempting to do with the original piece, but done poorly. I'm gonna show you how it will look once I'm done with it, with my uh, top coat so you can see the difference. But if this had been a black primer, 
Uh, I'd probably do a detailed finish on this and that, but this is mainly just to show you the, uh, the uh, technique with the primer. Uh, as far as the uh, finishing work, that's really up to you what you want to do, but uh, I'll be back in just a moment and show you what I do. And that's it, the finished piece. A quick dry brush finish over it. Again, I basically just did the exact same colors that were on the original piece, uh, but I think it looks much better than this. And because it has that primer, it's gonna seal in whatever was done underneath it. Again, I can't tell you what kind of paints, what kind of materials were used, but when you use the primer over it, it doesn't matter. So uh, whether you do a detailed finish or just a simple dry brush two-tone like this, you know it's gonna last a little longer. Now again, it is resin, so it's not gonna last like a piece of concrete, but for those folks that have been asking how to repaint your resin statues, there you go. But as far as I'm concerned, that's what I think of resin statues. So, hope that answered your question. We'll see you soon with some new uh, videos coming up soon. Until then, happy painting.